Hi everyone, Steve Nesson here. Welcome to Highlights, your video newsletter exclusively for members of the CandleCharts.com family. And as you know, one of the key points we bring out in all our education for those who have our educational resources, especially the more in-depth educational resources, is the vital importance of trade management. It's not only being able to correctly recognize a candlestick signal, you know, that obviously is important, but placing it within the concept of trade management. And we have a lot of trade management rules, risk reward, adapting to the market, you know, looking at the candles in context of the overall market and so forth. And one of the things we'll be looking at today is adapting to the market. And some people just do not adapt. <laughs> Accepted Ed, summer's over. <laughs> so we're going to look at some activity and the cues and show you exactly what I mean by adapting to the market, what I call being a market chameleon. Now, uh, in the red arrow, okay, in the middle of the chart, we obviously have a bearish engulfing pattern, the black real body wrapping around the white real body. Now, as the market is ascending, and I'll go through this uh, ST and what it means and so forth in a second or two, the market is moving up here, and notice what happened. The real bodies are getting smaller and smaller. Remember, one of the beauties of the candlesticks is using the size of the real bodies to gauge the market's momentum. So obviously the doji, the market is in balance between the bulls and the bears. This is actually a high wave doji, shows you the market's confused. So not surprisingly, it pulled back. Now, what happened was in the early part of July, the market broke a low, okay, that had made a few weeks before. And ST just stands for short term. So short term trend was down. Okay, because the market broke support with a long black real body. So I was bearish, all right? No signs that the bears were losing momentum. But one of the beauties of the candles is that we could use single candle lines, as I just mentioned before, to gauge the market's momentum if there's a change in tone between the bulls and the bears. So let's move to the next slide. Now notice what happened in the next session, all right? Uh, right after this black real body over here, not quite a hammer, the upper shadow is a little bit too long, but nonetheless, a very small real body, almost a doji, within the unusually long black real body. And you should recognize this, again, for those who have our, even our basic education, uh, would be a bullish hotomy pattern. Small real body in an unusually long black real body. So this changes the trend. And let me go back here, by the way. The reason I have these blue horizontal lines here is because uh, based on this action, my next support area was the bullish engulfing pattern. Look at that bullish engulfing pattern. The white candle is wrapping around multiple black real bodies. But anyway, so my target was the bullish engulfing pattern because the market broke support. But let's move to the chart I just had uh, on a second ago. So we have a small real body and an unusually black real body bullhotomy. Uh, the Japanese would say the bears are losing their breath. So now the trend is changing. It's not going positive, but it's becoming less negative. So the short-term trend is now down to neutral, all right, all in one candle session. So if you happen to be short or, uh, you know, aggressively bearish, this could be a small clue to scale back a little bit on your bearishness because uh, that uh, the bullish hotomy pattern, uh, not enough reason for me to go long. You know, it doesn't show the bulls are taking over. But it does show that the bears are losing momentum. Now, as the days progress, okay, notice over here, here's that bull hatter me. Now look what we had. Okay, a bullish engulfing pattern that wrapped around two black real bodies. So now what's happened is the short-term trend has gone from uh, down neutral to actually bullish. All right? And we all know what happened after. So once again, the potency of using the even basic candle signals, okay, getting a gauge of the market's momentum or lack of momentum, strong bearish momentum, less bearish momentum, bullish momentum, all within the time frame of three or four candles. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this and look forward to joining you for our next edition of Highlights. May the candles continue lighting your path to greater prosperity.